Pink Out Wink is inching closer. Find out how you can order your pink shirt and support breast cancer awareness coming up. It's birthday, Nehemiah. It's hump day, Morgan. <laughs> on today's broadcast, we'll have results from soccer and volleyball. All this and more coming up on KFOI TV 15 News. Good morning, Photo Stage High School. I'm Morgan Parsons, filling in for Frankie Wanamaker. And I'm Nehemiah Deason. Today is Wednesday, October 16, 2013. And here are today's news and announcements. Pink Out Week is next week. Support Breast Cancer Awareness Month and the Indians by buying the Pink Out shirt. Stuka will be signing the pink shirts during lunch beginning Monday, October 21st through Friday, October 25th. They will also be selling them during the October 22nd volleyball game against North Kansas City, the October 24th soccer game against Belton, and the October 25th football game against Belton. The cost is $10 for adult sizes small through extra large, and $12 for sizes double extra large and up. The school is in the distant third place in the Take the Pledge to Not Text and Drive contest. Here are members of the football team to help you remember to get out and vote. Down, set, height. Take, text, and drive. Take the pledge and vote for Photo Sage using your smartphone and home computer. Help the football team win $5,000 by visiting prepskc.com. Take the pledge and vote for Photo Sage up to three times per IP address. Let's stay safe on the roads and help win some funds for the football program. The Indian NFL squad began its season on Saturday at Blue Springs South High School. Frank Burnside and Nate Holt took second place in policy debate, while Lamonte Butte and Riley Messer finished fourth in public forum debate. Holt also broke into the semifinal round in congressional debate with presiding officer distinction. Sidney Martin made it to the semifinal round in storytelling, and Alyssa Teague broke into semis in prose reading. Martin and Josh Tennyson made it to the semis in duo interpretation. Students looking for a one-stop opportunity to get information on colleges and universities should plan on attending the 6th Annual College Fair at the CTC on Monday, October 28th. Bring your parents and visit with 30-plus colleges and technical schools from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Find out how A-plus can benefit you, how to get, apply for financial aid, and getting your FAFSA prepared. Don't miss this opportunity to get this valuable information and start your post-high school education on the right foot. Now here's today's sports report. The cool evening did not cool off the Indians boys soccer team. The varsity team was on fire as it put the Grandview Bulldogs in the pound by defeating them 9 to nothing. Richmond Forbes and King of Ramering each scored twice. Pierre Casaragi, Hayden Baumgartner, CJ Chavez, Alfredo Mondragon, and Brennan Peters each scored one. They improved their record to 11 to 4 on the season. The JV team had an equally easy time with Grandview winning 7 to nothing. Benning Peters led the Indians with three goals. The C team battled the Trojans at Park Hill to a 1 to 1 tie. Jimmy Maritou hit the goal to tie it for the Indians. The varsity and JV volleyball teams visited the Northmen of Oak Park last night. The JV lost 25 to 20 and 25 to 21. The varsity also fell to the Northmen 25 to 17 and 25 to 13. Maria, Marina Rios finished her golf season on Monday by shooting a 106 for a three-way tie for 34th place at the Class 2 Sectional 4 Tournament. Congratulations, Marina, on a great season. Coming up on the Indian Sports Calendar, the varsity football game against North Kansas City will be on Thursday at 7 p.m. at North Kansas City High School. The varsity and JV soccer teams will also be in action tomorrow at Raytown. The JV kickoff against the Blue Jays at 5 p.m and the varsity at 6.30. Volleyball will be at home on Thursday against Belton with the JV match starting at 5.30 and the varsity match at 7. That's all we have for you today, Indians. Make sure you get online and take the pledge and vote for Fort Osage. Thanks for watching KFOI TV 15 News and have a whimsical Wednesday. <laughs>